Hello everyone. Welcome to Akira-san Sushi at Home. Today we will introduce you two amazing bonito restaurants in Tokyo. Today we will introduce you two amazing bonito recipe that you can easily make at home. Today we will introduce you two amazing bonito recipe that you can easily make at home. Did you just hear Akira-san grow? That's how good it is. First one is Katsuo no Tataki, seared bonito. We will use this saku sashimi block we made in last episode. First, put five skewers on bonito. Always use metal skewer, not the wooden ones, as it will burn in the flame. And make sure to insert skewer right above the skin. Looking perfect! Now sprinkle salt on both sides of bonito. Make sure to do it thoroughly, but lightly. We used about 5 grams of salt here. Prepare charcoal and start a fire. Here we are using bin chotang, a high grade charcoal produced by ubame oak. Place handful of straw in and let smoke come out. Place bonito on the stop and sear both sides until it turns brown. We call this warayaki, straw grilling. Katsuo no tataki, seared bonito, is one of the most popular bonito dishes in Japan. But why is it more famous compared to a simple sashimi dish? There are several reasons why we sear bonito. Searing lacks excess water to evaporate from bonito's watery meat. This makes bonito to last longer, but it also turns flavor into a rich and intense one. Searing also removes fishiness, and last but not least, it softens bonito's stiff skin, soft enough easy to eat. Wara, straw, is a key ingredient when making seared bonito. When comparing size of a flame, fire turns into a bigger one when using straw as it contains oil. Therefore, it takes less time to sear, allowing bonito to maintain nice and raw inside. Okay, that should be good enough. If you don't have charcoal stove at home, you can also use stove in your kitchen. Procedure is exactly the same. Set on high heat and hold it so that flame touches bonito directly. For bonito that we seared in the kitchen, chuck it into a nice cold water and cool them quickly. Take it out, then wipe off water with kitchen towel. Super gorgeous katsuo no tataki is now ready to be sliced. Tataki goes well with fresh veggie condiments. Here we prepared sliced onion, chopped green onion, and myoga Japanese ginger. We also made fried garlic. Thinly slice the desired amount of garlic and fry them until it's golden. Once condiments are ready, let's start plating. Make a nest of sliced onion. Make a thick cut of bonito, about 1cm to 1.5cm. It is said that seared bonito has been loved by Japanese for more than 400 years. Back in 1604, daimyo who visited Tosa banned people from eating raw bonito. But people in Tosa loved bonito so much that some of them secretly enjoyed raw bonito behind one's back. But how? They just seared the surface of bonito to make it look as if it's cooked. This is said to be the beginning of Katsuo no Tataki, seared bonito. Place myoga next to and in between bonito. Sprinkle green onion and fried garlic. You can prepare your choice of citrus to squeeze onto bonito. Dekiagari desu! Next is Katsuo no Sappari Komiae. Marinated bonito sashimi with relish. Let's start from making sweet vinegar marinade. Mix 40 ml of vinegar with 10 grams of sugar. Mix it well until sugar completely dissolves. For this recipe, we will use bonito without skin. Slice off chiai as it is slightly fishy. Now let's start slicing bonito. After trimming off the end, 
sliced bonito thicker than we did for seared bonito. About 2.5 cm. Top tip when slicing sashimi is to insert the knife from the base of the blade, then bring it towards you. Do this motion in one go. Make three slices like this. Now cut each piece in half or bite size. Time to prepare the relishes. Finely chop spring onion. And two pieces of oba, shiso leaf. Top tip is to fold shiso leaf four times. By making layers beforehand, less effort is needed. Prepare about 1 cm of ginger and grate it. We roughly need about 3 grams. And add 2 tablespoons of nikiri soy sauce. Now marinate bonito with relishes. Use your hand to mix in nikiri like you're giving a massage. After a while, you can see that bonito have absorbed nikiri and leftover liquid have somewhat turned thicker. This is a sign that it is ready. We will use 3 pieces of bonito per serving. Place just the bonito on the plate of your choice. Then, add 1 tablespoon of amazu into leftover marinade. Mix well. Then scoop out the relish from the marinade and place it on top of bonito. Place pinch of shredded milga on top. And... Dekiagari desu! Yes, so good. いろんな薬味と合いますね。またお蕎麦さっぱりさせて、カツオの酸味とマッチしてとても美味しい。一緒に合わせるお酒は今日はじゃあ白ワイン。いいです。とてもマッチ。ありがとうございます。Thank you and